Guys, uh, .com. Uh, my name is Mushir, and today I will be discussing about, or rather previewing about the big match of EPL fixture of 2019 between Liverpool and defending champion Manchester City. And with me is our football analyst, Ms. Gan. So, hello, Ms. Gan. Uh, very happy new year. Uh, hello, Mushir. Thanks a lot. Same to you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. So, Ms. Gan, coming straight to the point. So, is this match, which uh, on 3rd January between Liverpool and Manchester City, beside the champion of EPL this of this season? Uh, not really. I think it's going to be. Uh, it's going to take us. It's going to uh, take us to a direction where this title race is going. If uh, Liverpool win this game, they are they will be clear favourites. They will be ten points clear of Manchester City. Then they have to drop off uh, a quite a level to really slip up this uh, lead. But still, uh, after this after this game, also they will have seventeen more league games. So you we, you really never know what can happen in a league game, especially when Champions League yeah. will start and then FA Cup will also start. So, yeah. in that sense, uh, the title won't be won or lost on uh, on Thursday night. But I think that yeah. if the direction of the of the title is will uh, be, uh, I, I would say, finalised. Because if City win, the gap will be again four points. Then again, the title races will be two horse. And again, the pressure will be back on both teams. And, and we will see what happens. Yeah. So, uh, so in terms of like the that is around this match, there is still like sixteen, seventeen more matches to go after this match. So it yeah, will be yeah. not it will not be like basically deciding the champion, but maybe like putting extra pressure on the team which loses this match. Right? Yes, especially if Manchester City. If Manchester City loses the game. Yeah. yeah. So, in terms of tactical approach between Klopp and Guardiola, how yeah. do you think both managers may, will go, especially Pep, how he will go? Because in previous fixture at Anfield, both tried to have a very conservative approach. Yeah. So how the City will try to line up, especially with their defensive problems against a very good attacking lineup of Liverpool? Yeah, so I think in the last game against and the last game uh, between these two teams at Anfield, Pep learned the lesson of the last season where he played a little open football and he was done on the counter attack by the pace and power of Liverpool. So I think uh, he won't be really uh, playing that that open style because I, I he he really very well knows and he has mentioned it time and time again while facing against Liverpool that. Liverpool's front three and their midfield and the direct approach uh, on the counter is very dangerous and the pace of Salamane and the guile and the movement of Firmino is just too much for any team in Europe. And we all know they are, they are one of the best front threes in Europe at the moment. So, yeah. I think they, they won't be that open, but I think they have to be a little more attacking than they, they were at Anfield. They were quite conservative at Anfield and mind you, they could have won that game if Riyad Mahrez would have uh, struck that penalty. So, they will be a little more attacking because they know uh, a draw won't really uh, uh, suit them in yes. a sense. The gap will remain seven points and a loss anyway will put them really behind to ten points. Uh, because uh, there's, there's a massive incentive of winning and then closing the gap to four points. So And being at home as well. So we might see City attacking a bit. Uh, the mm -hmm. only problem uh, position is at left back because uh, the mm -hmm. first two choice left backs, uh, Benjamin Mendy and Fabian Delf are out. I think he might not really rely on a young Alexander Zinchenko for this such a big game. So he might play Emerick Laporte at left back mm -hmm. as, as, mm -hmm. an, as a as a moving left back. He can be as a, a left back in possession and a third centre back without a third centre back without in possession and a, a left back without possession. So it yeah, can be some, yeah. we can see something like that because Laporte can play left back. So we can mm -hmm. see because to stifle the likes of Salah or Mane if the money is playing in that position. So, yeah, for Manchester City, this is the case, yeah. So, uh, if, if uh, Cla uh, sorry, Gudiria tries to, like, uh, do some, try to play with the attacking instinct, it will be a li little bit more helpful for Liverpool, given they are very good in counter-attack and they have yeah. a very good yeah, field yeah. This, this season, uh, along with their obvious good three attacking lineup. Yeah, yeah. So I think if uh, Liverpool, because Liverpool have a very good defense this season, they have conceded just eight goals in twenty games. Yeah. They, because before, be, because they can rely on their back four and the goalkeeper. I think they are more lethal in the on the counter attack, and I think that's the advantage Liverpool have going into this game. Because if City attack, because City being the home team, they, they are going to attack. And if Liverpool uh, manage to uh, sustain that pressure of attack and play their own football and play on the counter. 
they have enough uh, quality up top to uh, uh, trouble the city backline because this because you know the, this Manchester City backline ha haven't kept a clean sheet for the last eight to nine league games so they are fragile yeah, at the moment so they are fragile at the moment that even the likes of Chris uh, Southampton scored in the last game and uh, yeah. you know, with, with, with due respect to Southampton because they are not a very free flowing free scoring side so really Crystal yeah. Palace came at Etihad and scored three and won the game two weeks back so re you really fancy Liverpool to score goals at the Etihad come third Thursday night, it's the uh, mm -hmm. it's the uh, it, it it will be mostly about how Liverpool's defense managed to uh, stifle the Manchester City's attack. Mind you, Liverpool have conceded more than one goal in any league game. They have conceded eight goals in eight different games. So I think, yeah. and if if Liverpool continue that record, if they concede only one at the Etihad, then I think uh, Liverpool might fancy the chances of winning. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, because Liverpool have a very good defence this season and their midfield is also having good good players yeah. in terms of Chikini and Kika who can step up the momentum when needed. Yeah, and Fabinho's so, addition yeah. as well. So, yeah, I think the, I yeah. think Liverpool played the 4-3-3 formation with Salah and Firmino in, interchanging and Mane on the left. I think that that, could be the, that should be the go-to formation for this game, yeah. Yeah, so just uh, before we conclude this talk, so what do you think? What can the result shape uh, shape up in on the fourth on third of third night? So I think uh, I, I I'm a little uh, I'm a little uh, optimist towards an entertaining game, but uh, I think uh, mm -hmm. both teams will score. I think Liverpool will concede two in this game, and I think they might they have enough uh, ammunition in the attack to score two as well. So I think mm -hmm. I might go with a two entertaining two two draw. I think chances will be there at both at both both ends and. I think it will be two to draw, yeah. So, what do you think, Mishi? Uh, from for me, I think it's because Liverpool are playing like a really good unit this season, and they yeah, have yeah. players for right. each position for each uh, situation. Yeah. I think Liverpool can topple City not very easily, but they can with uh, with uh, with quite uh, comprehensively. They can beat City even if it's in Etihad. I think I predict a scoreline of maybe two one for Liverpool or three one for Liverpool. Because City are very vulnerable at the back, and if Liverpool start pressing hard, they can score quick goals, and that can put Guardiola under and City City players under a lot of pressure. So let's see, let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah. So thank you, Ms. Gan. Thanks, Thanks for your so time. Not. Yeah, you're we welcome. Have so. I think, uh, all the good, all the important points in this brief discussion, and we'll be doing a post-match analysis of this important match. Yeah. And thanks, thanks, guys. Thanks for your time. Keep listening to our podcast on YouTube and do visit our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and keep visiting on sportbits.com for latest, latest news and analysis on football and other sports and fitness-related articles and podcasts. Thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye.